for a long time there's been uh, a lot of discussion and debate over the relationship between human rights law and environmental harm. It's clear now that in many ways the environment can affect our enjoyment of human rights so that it's important to protect the environment in order to be able to safeguard other human rights. Also, it's important to honor human rights, respect human rights in order to be able to safeguard the environment. But many things about that relationship remain unclear and so part of my mandate is to examine that. A second big aspect of the mandate is to look at best practices. Many, many states now, over 90 states, have recognized a right to a healthy environment in their own constitutions. Many other states are also using human rights law in their own domestic laws to try and further their efforts to have a strong environmental policy. So one aspect of the mandate is to look at what these states are doing and share that so that other states know and can learn lessons, valuable lessons, from the experience of these states. It's become clearer and clearer that in many ways how we treat the environment directly affects our own enjoyment of human rights. And so while there still remain many questions about how exactly that relationship works, I think there's much less doubt now than there used to be that there is in fact a relationship and it's an important one. I think the environment goes beyond boundaries and so efforts to try and protect the environment have to go beyond boundaries as well. That doesn't mean that you can forget that the boundaries are there though and so that's, that's the nature of the challenge.